You might want to buckle up, baby. Last year's summer box office was, how should we put this? It was brutal, with movie going plummeting to a 25 year low in the US. But Hollywood is hopeful that 2018 will be a very different story as the season kicks off with a slew of huge movies featuring some heroes who might just save more than the day. The May to July stretch includes four key films from Disney, Lucasfilm Solo, a Star Wars story on May 25th, the first of the new cycle of Star Wars movies to debut in summer, two Marvel offerings, Avengers Infinity War on April 27th, and Ant-Man and the Wasp on July 6th, and Pixar's long-awaited sequel, Incredibles 2, which comes out June 15th. These heavy hitters will help Disney's market share lead over rival studios to grow even more pronounced. According to MKM Partners analyst Eric Handler, other studios need to come up with better franchises if they want to better compete with Disney. But other studios aren't sitting idly by. Fox is betting on Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool 2, which drops May 18th. The first installment, released in February 2016, grossed $783 million globally to become the top grossing R-rated film of all time, not adjusted for inflation. Even more formidable is Universal's Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which comes out June 20th. Second. In 2015, the second biggest summer on record at the worldwide box office, its predecessor Jurassic World topped the season's chart with $1.019 billion. That summer also boasted Paramount's Mission Impossible Rogue Nation and the next chapter, Mission Impossible Fallout, hit theaters July 27th. Infinity War and Jurassic World 2 are almost certain to cross $1 billion globally, and Solo and Deadpool 2 have a strong shot as well. Sony movie chief Tom Ruffman predicts that it will be a very big summer overall. Each of these big films will inevitably eat some portion of the one before its launch, but they are big launches, so the number will be great nonetheless. As NATO's Patrick Corcoran, some analysts think we could cross $6 billion in domestic revenue by the first half of the year, a record. Heading into the summer, domestic box office revenue currently stands at $3.343 billion, which trails last year's number by 2.2%. Had it not been for Marvel and Disney's Black Panther, the situation would be pretty grim. This summer starts earlier than ever with Avengers on April 27th, and it's one big movie after another, says IMAX Entertainment CEO Greg Foster. The biggest challenge is August. I wish there was something more there. But between now and August, there are five key weekends to watch at the box office, so let's break them down. Avengers Infinity War was previously scheduled for May 4th, but in March it was bumped up a week, giving it an extra weekend before Deadpool 2 drops. The only question is whether it can beat Star Wars The Force Awakens' record $248 million opening weekend back in December 2015. Meanwhile, Solo A Star Wars Story is facing off against the second weekend of Deadpool 2, when it hits theaters on the 45th anniversary of the opening of the original Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Ant-Man and the Wasp Marvel's second summer entry is looking to dominate the post-July 4th holiday week, although it will have to fight off competition from the new Blumhouse Horror Fest, The First Purge, which opens on the 4th itself. One of the summer's biggest gender divides is likely to take place as Denzel Washington's action sequel, The Equalizer 2, faces off against Mamma Mia, here we go again. If the two movies opening the previous weekend are still going strong, Mission Impossible Fallout could find it a challenge to match the $56 million opening of 2015's Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. So which films are you most excited to check out this summer? And who are you betting on to rule the box office when it's all said and done? Let us know in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.